The ability study is a randomized study in diabetic patients to evaluate two drug eluting stents. And essentially what we want to do is evaluate a novel drug eluting stent called a bluminous stent versus an evarolimus eluting stent. And the rationale really behind this study is the fact that diabetic patients still remain in unmet clinical need. They Treated, when they're treated with, uh, percutaneously with stents, they still have a higher rates of revascularization and events at long term. And so we still don't have an ideal stent. The Bluminous is a novel stent. Um, in comparison to other drug eluting stents, so it's a serolimus coated stent, but in comparison to other drug eluting stents, it's mounted on a serolimus coated balloon. So the idea is that as the balloon expands and the stent expands, you'll be giving drug to the wall with the stent, but also in between the stent struts, okay, there'll be drug given to the wall. So you're giving a more homogenous uh, drug distribution and homogenous drug to the wall, which we hope will limit restenosis and intimal hyperplasia. We'll be randomizing patients, diabetic patients, so it's patients who, are, who have diabetes type 1 or type 2 on therapy, They'll be then, you know, if we'll, they'll have an angiogram, and if on the angiogram they have disease that is treatable percutaneously, they will be randomized in a two to one fashion. So we'll have 110 patients treated with a bluminous versus 55 patients treated with an Ivarolimus eluding stent. The study is designed to evaluate as its primary endpoint an OCT endpoint, which will be near intimal volume at nine months because we believe that and we hope that a novel stent like this with a drug coated balloon, with a stent on a drug coated balloon, will give us better efficacy than a standard stent alone. And so we're hoping that we'll see this difference on really in inhibiting new intimal hyperplasia.